What are you doing? I'm just practicing for tonight's game. Oh. Hey, Pirates. I'm Avery. And I'm Luke. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the, the Friday, Friday Big, Big Show. Show. Here are a few short announcements before we get to the main course. Lady Pirate Volleyball plays tonight in Van. Good luck, ladies. Crandall Tennis plays Mesquite Horn next Tuesday in Mesquite. Pirate Cross Country is doing well so far. Cross Country runs tomorrow morning in Kaufman. It's a close meet. Rise up bright and early and support these hardworking Pirates. By now, you've heard that Pirate football kicks off tonight at home. Here's a rundown on the Pirate Stadium rules. No outside food or drink may be brought into the stadium. This does not apply to the band, drill team, or cheerleaders. State laws and school district policies prohibit the use of tobacco products in any form, alcoholic beverages, and controlled substances or school district property. Aisles should be kept clear at all times. No loitering will be permitted. Spectators must sit in the stands and keep off the rails. Spectators will not be allowed to leave the stadium and return once the game has started. Bags, backpacks, coolers, etc. are not allowed in the stadium. Umbrellas cannot be used in the seating area courtesy of fan viewing and safety. Items such as frisbees, balls, whistles, and etc. are not allowed in the stadium. Food, drinks, gum, sunflower seeds, and tobacco are prohibited at all times around or on the field areas. Spectators may not cross the other side of the stadium. Children in grades pre-K through 8th grade are not allowed to attend activities without a parent present. Only emergency vehicles may be parked outside the stadium. It's going to be a fun, safe season at Pirate Stadium. See you there. And here's some info about today's pep rally. First off, when we dismiss, uh, we will dismiss by announcements the certain areas of the school that we will dismiss at one time. Freshmen and sophomores, y'all will head down the back hallway uh, to the gym and around the back side to the athletic hallway, and you will enter from that side of the gym. Juniors and seniors, you will come around the corner and you will go down the trophy case hallway and enter through uh, the side doors on this side of the gym. So please be sure you get to your sections. Freshmen, you will sit on the far side, on the visitor side. Sophomores, you will be on the far side, on the home side. Seniors, you sit right in the middle on the home side. Juniors, you will sit on the closest side when you enter uh, on the home side. Our band will be right in the middle on the visitor side. Cheerleaders and athletes will be on the floor. Um, at the end of our pep rally, we're going to have an opportunity for you to um, root for your class. We'll have our spirit stick available, so we're going to be looking for the loudest um, class. Um, hopefully that is your class. The one thing I love about Crandall High School is how much school spirit we have. So Friday is an opportunity for you to show off your school spirit. And be loud at the pep rally, so let's make sure we hear you. Let's go Pirates! NHS Blood Drive is coming up. It will take place on September 30th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. There will be signs posted around the school with the QR code linked to a sign-up sheet. Once you get signed up, find a friend to sign up to. Some things get lost. Other things get found. CHS Lost and Found is in the front office. Don't have your parking pass yet? Take care of that today. Enforcement starts Tuesday. Are you stressed out, overwhelmed, and struggling with anxiety? CHS would like to help. A new st stress and anxiety management support group will begin September 17th. We will also have a group for those available for those struggling with grief and loss. Check your student email account for details on how to register or see Ms. Blair in the Counseling Center. There are other announcements. To hear them, listen to Pirate Radio. Go to chspirateradio.com. It plays the classic oldies and has the latest Pirate announcements every hour. Labor Day is Monday. Some students in Struck's first period made this informative video. Labor Day is on September 2nd. It is a tribute to all the hard workers who have contributed to the prosperity and well-being of the United States. Labor Day was created because in the 1820s, workers were working way too many hours and wanted more time off. During the 1830s, they were doing 70 hours a week on average alone. Then in 1890, the hours started to drop. The workers protested to have an eight-hour shorter work week. The workers also wanted more days off, and thus Labor Day was born. Labor Day was created by Peter McGuire. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating the contributions of 155 million men and women in the U.S. workforce. The first celebrated U.S. Labor Day was on Tuesday, September 5, 1882 in New York City, planned by the Central Labor Union. In the late 1800s, the average American worked 12 hour days and seven day weeks to eke out a basic living. Children as young as five to six year old worked in factories and mines. Oregon was the first to declare Labor Day an official holiday in 1887. Don't forget, the annual Cotton Fest is being held next Thursday on September 5th. Buy your ride tickets at Inkit and Brookshire Brothers. See you there next week, Pirates. That's all for now. 
Stay tuned, Pirates. I'm Avery. And I'm Luke. Time, Time to, to sing, sing along. Pirate TV. Pirate TV. Yeah. Big show, big show, big show, big show Friday. Big show. <laughs> we interrupt this program for breaking news. Yeah. Second week. Coming to an end. Huh? Blackout game. Pirates fight, pirates win. Yeah. And three days off for our good behavior. So, so. No classes Monday, so we don't have to labor. Yeah. And now back to our yeah. regularly scheduled program. Pirate TV. Pirate TV. Yeah. Big show, big show, big show, big show Friday. Big show. Good morning, Crandall High School. My name's Mama B, Ms. Buller, coming to you from Room 108. And I wanted to talk to you a minute about kindness and how our actions define us as people. I want you to zoom in on this picture. This went viral on uh, Facebook not too long ago. Clearly, this young boy right here is having a hard time of it. In fact, he's autistic. He was suffering a meltdown on the first day of school, and this boy on the other side just instinctively went over to him grabbed his hand, and walked him into the school building. This little boy afterwards said that he had tears, but it was tears of joy because he had found a new friend on the first day. You need to make a conscious effort in your life to be kind to each other. We live in a time where people are not kind. There's a lot of things going on that we're afraid of. But go out and seek that one person that needs friendship, that needs happiness in their life, and be that one person that makes it all come true. Mama B. It's a great day to be a pirate, guys. Hmm. I don't feel so good. Allie! Are you okay? My friend, she needs help. She needs help. She passed, passed out. What she happened? passed out. We were eating and she like drank water and like passed out after. Take her out. Is Take she her gonna out. Be okay? She Take gonna her die. Out. Scaffold. What is that? Hosa, what are you doing in my patient? I'm glad you asked. Hosa provides opportunities for students to make a well-informed career choice among the many health occupations leading to a more realistic career goal. Hosa provides leadership development by developing character and promoting responsible citizenship. Students develop an understanding of current health care issues and an awareness of environmental concerns. Hosa is geared to help build student self-esteem. If you're interested in joining HOSA, then there are signs posted along the hallways with a QR code that you can scan with your phone to sign up. Tyler Snell, the old kid. Let me get this door for you, sir. Thank you, youngster. See, back in my day, kids read books, not on their phones. Oh, hey Jared, did you get the message I left on your answering machine? Answering machine? Can you help me work this machine? Yeah, sure. Super Student of the Week starts back up this week. Teachers email struck for candidates and we will select from those. And this week's Super Student of the Week goes to Craig Allen. Good job, Craig. Super Student, Super Student, Super Student of the Week. Um, I'm involved in theater, FFA, and band. What instrument do you play and why? I play saxophone. Um, my sixth grade year, my mom comes home with the saxophones and says, hey, play this. So I did. When and why did you join FFA? Um, actually, whenever I moved here my freshman year, I didn't know anything about FFA. Like, I didn't know anything about it. But my mom was like, hey, go check this out. So I went and I checked it out and I saw the things that they offered, all the amazing opportunities that they gave us. So you should join FFA. They also give scholarships. 
Also, I'm the chapter vice president for the Kendo FFA. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? I enjoy playing the piano. That's, I love playing the piano and instruments in general. And that's in sleep, of course, that's all I do. Do you have any plans for after high school? I do. I want to join the Naval Academy. It's going to be a lot of work to get in it, but I think I can do it. What is up, guys? We're going to be the new group called Duct Tape Madness. Wait, what? <laughs> Introducing Ashley, Smitty, The Merc. Salad bar. And then, finally, the man, the myth, and the legend, the cameraman. What is up, guys? Welcome to Duct Tape Mania, where we do duct tape hacks. Brought to you by the Jumbo Duct Tape Book. Today's hack is walking on walls. First, you gotta wrap duct tape around your hands and feet, sticky side out. And then, all you gotta do is walk up the walls. Attempt number one is in progress. I forgot to mention, it's not recommended for people who weigh over 20 pounds. A tip number two. You know, I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah, I think I have a good feeling about this one, guys. You know, you know, I've, I've done this before. I've had this experience, but you know, we'll see how it happens. And that is all today for... If ghosts can walk through walls and glide downstairs, why can't they fall through the floor? Why do they call it a funny bone? That if when you hit it, it's not funny at all. Why can donuts be square? If we call plates China here, then why do they call them in China? If you speak only one language, does that mean you're lingual? Can a short person talk down to a taller person? Do vegetarians eat animal crackers? This ain't what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't yell at school. Don't walk into other people's classrooms. Don't use your phone in class. Shane. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you get those shoes? The <laughs> shoe store? <laughs> <laughs> your forehead. <laughs>